Hello everyone, this is Mark from Osmia Water and I'm presenting this video to you because it's got some quite important and maybe for some very shocking information about what's become in recent years a very fashionable and trendy type of device for the kitchen which is um, collectively known as instant boiling taps. Um, these are made by a variety of different manufacturers, uh, Kruka, Frankie, and Syncurator, plus many, many more. Um, now, um, recently, um, well, many, many years ago, if I go back a bit earlier, I, we, we were um, aware of the problem with them in terms of water is corrosive, uh, water is solvent. Um, if the water is filtered and purified to even more extent, the, the corrosion is, is worse. Um, instant boiling um, systems have a box under the sink and it has a uh, sealed unit under heat under pressure and it's usually made of some kind of metal mainly stainless steel different grades of stainless steel or galvanized steel um, and maybe other other alloys uh, involved but the point is um, we're aware of the problem um, the this product um, is people who use it must be aware um, that actually they need to just be careful um, about servicing the heating elements, just checking that there's not excess uh, material extraction in the product. Now, the companies selling these products really don't seem to care that much about the whole problem. In fact, it does put people off buying the product if they are aware of that as an issue. And that's why um, a customer rang up one day and asked me, like we get asked a lot of the time, what filter system should I use with my Kruka? So then I explained to them that we, the reason why he should remove the Kruka, and I asked him if he had a TDS meter, and it happened he did have a TDS meter. So I said, check the tap water and check the TDS of the Kruka water and see what, if there's a difference. If it's much higher in the Kruka, then you know that water, that's tap going into the Kruka, is then there's, there's TDS, which means total dissolved solid. So it's a measurement of electrical conductivity. It's a crude measure of the level of dissolved solid in the water. Um, see if that's any different. And this is exactly what happens. I bought this Kuka um, eight years ago when I refurbished my home. So it'd be nice to have hot water on tap. So we got this. I became a little bit concerned because I did a test and I noticed that the solids from the tap water from this tap is about 270, 280. And this used to be much lower, but now it's gone up to double that to 480. <coughs> And I thought, well, what's causing that? You know, is it is it the element inside this machine that's getting corroded and causing solids to go into the water? Um, so we decided to put a, do a small test. So that's water from the tap. Um, here's water from the cooker. Ouch, ouch. Boiling hot water there. And finally, because of my concerns over this hot water, I decided to get this machine. And I shall do like for like. I shall put that on 100 degrees and press that. And this is hot water coming out of this new Osmio water filter that we bought. Normally it takes out about 250 ml, but this glass is a lot smaller, so I shall switch it off and that would be the third one so we have here the normal tap water the Kuka water and the Osmio water and I shall test these to show you what I'm concerned about so here is my TDS meter right here we go so first of all the tap water that comes in at 274. Okay. Secondly, the Kuka, boiling Kuka water. And there it is, 471 parts per million. And finally, the water from the Osmio. And that is 37. There you have it. So I am recommending this wonderful machine because it does what I want it to do, give me good quality drinking water. Okay, so 
what did we see then? Uh, we saw that the incoming tap water into the Kruka boiler was about 274, and the uh, outgoing TDS of the Kruka was 470 something. So there was an additional 200 parts per million of TDS has been added to the Kruka. Every, every, every liter that family has been pouring into their um, cooking or their tea or coffee or anything like that has had this additional 200 parts per million. So the question is, what is it? Well, yeah, we have to test that. So what do I suspect it is? It's um, material extraction from the machine. It's, it could be build up of mineral. It could be, it could be ex uh, corrosion of metal. It's just general material extraction on an eight year old Kruka that is now near enough doubling the, the level of dissolved solid in the water. And so that gives me grave concern, grave concern. So um, firstly, you have to bear in mind something. Um, uh, instant boiling taps are keeping, keeping water under heat, under pressure. Not only are they environmentally unfriendly, keeping water boiling all the time, but they're, you know, that exacerbates the condition of, of the corrosive, of, the, of the, how quickly it can effectively corrode. So these, these are metals, these are heavy metals, these are different, you know, things that are going into that. So that water is not wholesome. And, and, and the, um, the taste, you know, this, this family would, would surely have not noticed the taste. The question becomes, at what point did the product become unsafe? At what point did the product become unsafe? Was it after six months? Was it after a year? Was it after three years? We don't know. One thing I can say is that um, test your TDS of your Kruka or your instant boiling system. Um, Kruka, I, I know we use them in a, as an example, but of all the companies out there doing this, they're probably one of the highest quality, the highest quality. So you can see what's going on with, with probably the highest quality instant boiling tap on the market. If you've bought one for free, 400 pounds with a little Chinese black box, then God help you. Seriously, God help you. I'm just, I'm doing this video not to put you off getting an instant boiling tap. I'm saying if you get one, don't put very pure water into it and check every six months or whatever, check the TD or check the heating elements and service them, service them, change them, you know. So this problem has been on our mind for a long time and I just decided recently to say something about it because I'm just fed up of people making money and profiting off other people's misery. And I'm sick of it, right? So all you companies selling instant boiling taps, wake up and wake up what you're doing to people. Stop trying to chase um, just some money, you know? Sell an Osmia Zero to people. I mean, what, um, I have to state that our product has um, a rare earth ceramic oxide coating on the heating element. So we know we're dealing with pure water. We're, our pure water is more aggressive, right? So let's test an Osmia Zero after eight years. Are you gonna see 470 TDS? Absolutely guaranteed no. And I've made sure of that because I use this product. My children use this product and I'm happy to sell this product to people. I'm not happy uh, to see what's going on. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. You know, share this video with your friends. Um, share this video with anyone you know using this product, whether it's at work or at home. Make people aware. Knowledge is power. You know, don't just look at things a bit more deeply look okay you see all the tv adverts for kuka and it looked great and it looked convenient and it looked fashionable and and you know you love it right but but look look a bit beyond that look at the water quality look at the things you can't taste but you can measure you know and um look at the company's um objective and and their goal you know and uh what they're really about you know what ask them what material extraction testing have they done for units in service like we're looking at here at what point does the product become unsafe these are all great questions to ask them and um say so this is the first time we've done a sort of video to expose something and is and um you know i think the catalyst was, was uh, for me was just one day beginning of 2020 waking up and saying this has got a change you know it's absolutely unbelievable that these companies that are quite big much much larger than us are selling this product like hot cakes like hot cakes and people are getting them in and just like they're poor children they're poor children you know they're please share this video please um, um, share it and and make make people aware 
because this is not a joke, you know, like we do not use the hot water tap in our house for because it goes through the boiler. The TDS is higher. What you've got with a KUKA is it even more extreme. Don't forget, boilers are normally at about 60 degrees. We're talking about 100 degrees here. There's no laughing matter. It's no joke. And I'm now um, ready to um, expose this. And I, if, um, if we get any legal challenge from anyone, I'm ready. Let's go. You know, bring it on, my friend, because I don't care anymore. Um, I care about the people using this product that are unaware. So please help us out, share the video, and, and you know, if you know any friends or family with this type of thing, make them check it, um, and um, hopefully they'll catch anything. And, I, and, and, and let's do no harm. And all I ask for is the most benevolent outcome for everyone concerned, KUKA included. I want KUKA to look at what they're doing and change their process and everything else. Maybe, in, maybe do an email to customers and, and make them aware to test or your service heating elements it's very important don't be laissez-faire don't be leave alone and just sell the product and let them go on with it have a bit of standard about how you make your money for crying out loud you know do something like why is the world so like this it's ridiculous it's ridiculous and children are being poisoned right it's not happening why why i'm alive at least not with anyone i know because i made them aware and that's why i'm doing this video for you so share it please and um and i hope uh, I hope it helps you, okay? And thanks for listening. Thank you.